Hey fans! So today I'm doing something a little bit different. Do you guys remember that time where I took the e-bike out for a spin and I circled my neighborhood five times? Well, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna walk across my neighborhood 10 times and I'm gonna time it. But the best part is you guys are coming with me. But I got my fruity pebbles for the ride. And I think this is the stopwatch. So, and it is 5.56. Now, let's start the walk. Okay, so we're going to circle this thing 10 times and I'm not going to say the amount of laps every time we pass one but the house where my house is it's going to be a lap and maybe we can have my porch as the finish line but anyway I just thought you know you guys would want to see this because I wanted to do something fun with the fans because tomorrow or today's the last sunny day as I'm filming this. Um, yeah, fire hydrant. So one fact about you guys, or one fact about me that you guys as the fans do not know is I love Fruity Pebbles. I quite honestly love Fruity Pebbles so much, see, that, you know, I could eat them every morning for breakfast, but I also get those little cups of Fruity Pebbles and I can, and I take them on the go sometimes. So, yeah, and... One thing to note, you guys, I'm not walking especially that fast. So, you guys are just going to have to bear with me because I do not want to walk overly fast while doing this. Because, for one, I want to enjoy this. For two, I do not want to shake the camera. You know, but you guys, I'm filming this April 2nd, and I don't know what date you guys will be seeing this. I haven't decided yet, but yeah. As much as I would like to show you guys this route, it is private property, so we're not going to go on it. Um, well, if we had permission, maybe, maybe, but you know, I'm not going to do that. So, just bear with me. As surprising as it is, it is private property. It wouldn't seem like it is, since... That little forest over there is not, but that side is, for whatever reason. Also, it's dangerous because it's closer to the golf course than my house is, and I don't want to get hit in the face with a golf ball while I'm filming this, and I don't want to get my camera hit while filming this. So, we're just going to stick right here because, yeah, no injuries 
on this video, my friends, only safe journeys. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, I'm timing this on my watch because I'm using my phone to shoot this video. So yeah. And oh gosh. That tree branch brushed up against me. It didn't poke me, but it brushed up against me. So, right here, it just turns into grass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around. Oh, kicked a pebble in there. <laughs> Not a fruity pebble, a real pebble. Um, so I'm going to turn around, take a shortcut, and then you guys will figure out what I do from there because, oh yeah, better keep an eye out because I do not want to get hurt by that tree branch. And you know, I'm vaccinated for tetanus, but one, I don't want to risk it. And two, I bet you that branch is not clean. You know, who knows what it's been covered in because, you know, tetanus is bad. It kills a lot of people and breaks people's bones and stuff like that. You know, before going to underdeveloped nations, you should get a booster or on that tetanus because, you know, there's contaminated stuff and, you know, some... Countries, by law, or by the CDC's rules, require a vaccination for typhoid and yellow fever and all those things. Hi, how are you? Just filming a video of myself walking. I don't think she heard me, but... Um, my point is, be aware of those things because, like, yellow fever's incurable, it messes up people's hearts, and you know what I mean? You should get a booster because, in some airports, if you go to, like, Africa, there are some airports in Africa that will not let you in without proof of a yellow fever shot. So that's one thing to note. <clears throat> Just a little pro tip for you because, you know, I have a lot of knowledge and I like to share it with the fans. <clears throat> All right. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yummy fruity pebbles. Mmm. Mmm. Kind of like that wiggle song, fruit salad. Yummy, yummy, fruity pebbles. Yummy, 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 fruity pebbles. <laughs> Oi. That is way before half of the kids that are probably watching this is time. <laughs> the wiggles and fruit salad. That is way before, well, most of the people that watch this, because I pay attention, are closer to my age, but 
for the smaller kids out there that watch this channel, that is way before your time. That is way before your time, probably. <laughs> Yeah, I'm only 18, but you know, things were definitely different technology-wise, living-wise. Just a lot of things were different, if you know what I mean. No Fortnite, no Minecraft, no Pokemon, no Barbie movie, no Snapchat, no Taylor Swift movie, no... Um, gosh, what else? Nintendo Switch? None of that. No Halo. No GTA 5. By the way, GTA 6 is coming out, and it looks like the graphics on that one are going to be pretty good. Um, yeah, and no iPads either. So, you know, a lot of things were still, you know, just coming out, and a lot of things were still, you know, pretty new and pretty old school because you know we've adapted into a modern world you know we had youtube and we had myspace and whatnot but and facebook but you know youtube if i was doing this i can take my sweet time while doing this with you guys but if this was like back in 2008, I would have had to run these 10 laps because at that time, YouTube, YouTube had a 10 minute video limit at that time. So, you know, you watch a lot of videos from like 2007, 2008, you don't, they're usually always under or just 10 minutes because back then you could not make videos longer than 10 minutes now you can um and i'm glad that's changed because i'm sure these longer videos helped my channel grow and probably other youtube channels grow <clears throat> side view of my house <laughs> yummy, yummy, fruity pebbles. <laughs> fruity pebbles, they make me feel so good. <laughs> Gosh. To be honest with you guys as fans, the real song just makes me gag. Not the song I just made up, but the real song with that uh, line makes me gag. Copenhagen, uh, if it was Copenhagen, Denmark, it wouldn't make me gag, but gosh. That chewing tobacco, I think it should be outlawed, to tell you the truth. Because I'm honest with you guys, and 
I think it should be outlawed because it's a disgusting, filthy habit. It's expensive. It messes up people's teeth, causes mouth cancer. People have to... <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm not even going to go that far into it. When people smile, it sticks out. Turns people's uh, saliva oh, murky brown. Um, it's just nasty. It's a filthy habit. So kids watching this, don't ever, don't ever try that. I think it should be outlawed, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, all of it, though, kind of revolves around politics and... That's not what we're going to be talking about. Um, but you guys know what? Let's just have the turnaround point be right here because... If there wasn't that stupid tree branch that rubbed up against my shirt like that, I wouldn't, I would have continued, but I'm not, yeah, I'm sorry. I won't call it, but we're still going to do the 10 laps, but we're not going to, um, I just, you know, and then it turns to grass in that direction and it's just, it's just unpleasant. I don't know why that area is not paved with a sidewalk. That's the one thing. For me as a fan, for me as a, as a person living in this residence, has always gotten to me because... I understand this is an old neighborhood. Like, my house was built in 75. But, come on. <clears throat> And then these trees, too. Y you know, I like the trees. I, I like trees like this, but, you know, I've almost lost my roof because we have windstorms. And these trees, as you can tell, that tree right there, if there's a windstorm, more that thin one, if it goes to the right, that person will lose their fence. And if they have a hot tub, they'll lose their hot tub as well. Because, yeah, lost my hot tub because of it. And I lost my fence and lost a really nice shop in my backyard because of that. So, you get what I mean? These things... And trust me, I love trees, you know, I, I really do like trees, but I don't, it's just scary when they're that close to a fence, like that one, you know, and then this right here is a tree stump, um, that person, you know, it's just vulnerability, see, tree stumps. It's just, it's just a lot of vulnerability, fans. I mean, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So yeah, fans, I'll probably give you, you know, in the future, you guys can comment and let me know. Do you guys want to see random stuff? 
all the time or do you guys want more videos like this where I'm doing like a 10 lap challenge or a five lap challenge or maybe something different. Would you guys want something like this? Like more stuff like this? Because, you know, I'm enjoying it as much as you guys, you guys are probably gonna be sitting with a bag of chips and a Coke and watching this. You guys are gonna be the ones in charge of this though. Do you like the challenge stuff? Or do you prefer just not knowing what's going to come next for this channel? Because my plan is to keep this channel the same. But, you know, in this regard, I'm going to let you guys be the judge. Because this was my idea. This wasn't yours. This was, this was mine. And... You guys want more videos like this, just let me know because I look at all the comments and I read them and I reply to them. So, oh, there's a beautiful sunset. You guys will be the ones in charge of this because <clears throat> so fans, how was your Easter? Let me know because you know what I did? I went and ate lunch at this lovely restaurant that used to be a senior center down in Silverton, Idaho. It's a very small town, Silverton. My dad was actually born in Silverton. But, um, great food, great Coke, lovely people. Our server was very nice, you know? I say our hour because, you know, I had my family with me. Um, yeah. yeah. So, that's, you know, what I did. And then, also, hold on, let me just make sure that that car is not about to start. Hmm. Oh, sorry fans, I just can't tell what that is over there. I can't see it, but it, oh, it's a chainsaw. I think, but yeah, it's a chainsaw. Um, I just do not wanna, you know, this person doesn't see it, but I'm video, but I'm, this is more for my sake than the fans. I just wanna figure out what is the, Oh, never mind. Never mind, fans. That is a hedge trimmer. That is not a chainsaw. That is a hedge trimmer. I could tell because of where she was aiming that at. That is a hedge trimmer. I like hedge trimmers. They're pretty cool. But that's what that is, fans, so uh, I can see why it sounds like a chainsaw, but that's, that's what that is. And it looked like a steel or a husky varna hedge trimmer. 
Obviously, that person didn't see that I was <laughs> filming her, but that was more for my sake than the fans because I just wanted to figure out what that was because I didn't want to get too close in case it was a chainsaw. Like, I don't want sawdust on me. I don't want sawdust in my hair or in my hat. I, it was for my safety, personally, but I don't think hedge trimmers, well, they probably, those little pointers that look like a sword, kind of, I bet you they are sharp, but I don't, I just don't want to risk it. I don't own a hedge trimmer, but you guys let me know how those things work, because I've never, I don't even think I've met anybody who owns one, but if I, yeah. So, you guys as the fans, let me know. But, uh, yeah, I like the Easter time. I hope the bunny was good to ya. I'm sure he was. What is this? This is lap five, I think. So lap four, lap five. I can't, I really can't. I want to say five. I won't know until I go to edit this thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh yeah. But yeah, you guys, um, Easter was pretty fun. You know, I went to church. I'm... You guys know what? I'm calling it, you know, because I'm tired of having to cross the street X amount of times. I am changing the lap point. I think about four more laps of this. Um, we're going to stay on this road, but we're not. One thing we are not going to do is cross the street. Gosh, and this is more tiresome than all stages on Wheel of Fortune, but it's fun. I'm, I'm having fun, but it's, it's tiresome doing this with a camera in my hands. And also, fans, I'm also going to change the ending spot. We're going to end at a very special place to me. Blowing away at that heads trimmer, huh?
my hat. Better go back and get it. <clears throat> okay. Gosh, it's like we're at lap uh, seven and a half. You guys, I am tired of, you, you know, I'm, I'm pretty tired of, from this fans, but I'll continue to do it. For some of the fans who are interested in what church I go to, I am Catholic. Um, and I'm probably going to start soon riding the city link to go to church on Saturdays, but I got to learn the bus schedule. You guys know what? I'm just going to call it right here. Ugh. I'm calling it. I'm ending it. Well, fans, that was fun. I had, uh, I think it was eight laps. But it is getting dark outside, and I don't want to do this in the dark. And this area gets really scary during the dark. Don't forget to subscribe.